I was born uh, in Ogden at the Old D Hospital on 24th and Harrison. At about age 11, we moved up uh, just south of the D Event Center, and that kind of started my uh, association with Weaver State. As young kids, we were down playing tennis, constantly on the tennis courts. We were down in the Union Building, bowling, playing pool, playing pinball. Grew up in Roy, went to school, and Roy loved it, and had a great childhood, had lots of fun. It was a great place to grow up. We have two amazing kids that we're, we're very proud of. So our son, he got his accounting degree and is currently working with the family business. And our daughter is in Weber's DNP program right now, the Doctor of Nursing Practice, and so she's set to be done in December. We've got two grandchildren and a grand dog. I've uh, been employed by the uh, uh, family business basically my whole life. Wheelwright Lumber was started in 1908 by my great-grandfather Thomas Wheelwright. I'm actually the fourth generation. My father and myself have worked together my whole adult life. I've been a licensed CPA for about 35 years now and I worked in public accounting for about seven years to begin with in a local Ogden firm and then I went to work for Weber County Treasurer's Office and just recently I have phased out of Weber County and now I'm working with the family business. I'm helping out with their accounting department right now in the family business. The thing to do in the early 80s was drag the boulevard in Ogden so we were dragging the boulevard and happened to stop at Arby's and saw these really, really cute guys and started up a conversation. We were sitting there eating and noticed a little group of really pretty cute girls and uh, we went over and started talking to them. And then they followed us to the other end of the boulevard and ended up getting our phone numbers and the rest is history. I started out here at Weaver in 1982, just, just right after I graduated and right after we got married. And I was fortunate enough to get an academic scholarship, an honors at entrance scholarship. My parents were helping me with uh, my tuition, uh, but we still had to, to get along. So a lot of working. I was working at the Lumberyard, of course. Brenda was working evenings uh, at Mervyn's. For a while there, we didn't see a whole lot of each other, uh, except for the drive up to Weaver State. and. Uh, at school, we did have some classes together. We both worked hard and studied a lot, but we also had a lot of fun. Some of the things that I remember and some of the things that have carried on uh, from Weber State, one of them was uh, Dr. Sessions in the history classes. Prior to attending his history classes, I had zero interest in history. Well, the campus has changed a lot over the years. I remember that the Wattis Business Building was under construction for most of the time that I was a student here, but they finished it up. So I got to enjoy that brand new building right at the end, so that, that was really fun. Right now, everywhere we look around, there's a brand new beautiful building, and so it's exciting for the community and, and the students. In my office down at the Lumberyard, uh, some people call it the Weaver State Wall. I've got a lot of uh, memorabilia up on the wall of Weaver State. Here's your Weaver State season tickets, Mr. Wilwright. Welcome to the Wildcat family. Ended up doing a commercial for season tickets for Weaver State, and uh, that was an, an amazing experience for both of us and our family. Brenda and both of our kids were in it, and it was a lot of fun. Hopefully it turned out well for Weaver. <laughs> the entire band in our bedroom, that really happened. Yeah, the entire loud. band <laughs> playing the fight song in our bedroom to wake us up, it was, it was fun. I believe that Weber State has got that kind of connection with the community that you feel like family. You know a lot of the, the professors and the administrators and the coaches, they're out and about in the community. Weber State's very near and dear to our heart. I always say it's the university in our backyard. We're just so fortunate to have it so close to us. It's been part of our lives for over 40 years now and just we're just very grateful.